everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1982 movie Swamp Thing. So, in this movie, Dr. Alec Holland, hidden away in the depths of a murky swamp, is trying to create a new species, a combination of animal and plant capable of adapting and thriving in the harshest conditions. Unfortunately, he becomes subject of his own creation and is transformed. Arcane, desperate for the formula, attempts to capture the Swamp Thing. An explosive chase ensues that ultimately ends with a con confrontation between Holland and a changed Arcane. Um, this movie is okay. It, it wasn't near as bad as I was afraid it was going to be. I, I had heard a lot of bad things about this movie and everything, and it does kind of have a slow start, but once it gets going, it's it's not too bad. Um, I think that uh, Wes Craven did a pretty good job with the directing and everything, and the story is pretty good um, and everything. Uh, uh, that, that cast is, is pretty good in here, too. Uh, you got uh, Louise Jordan as Dr. Arcane, and he, He's okay. He's not not like a great character, but he's all right and everything. And Adrian Barbo is Allie, the cable, uh, the character that uh, Swamp Thing is is trying to save throughout the movie is is pretty good. Um, uh, she she does a does a pretty good job and. Uh, Ray Wise is uh, Dr. Holland is pretty good. And uh, Dick Durock, who does, who plays Swamp Thing, does a pretty good job too. And everything. I, I wish we would have got to see more of Swamp Thing. They kind of keep him in the shadows throughout most of the movie and everything. And uh, that, that part kind of sucks, but um, he, he's pretty cool though and everything and uh, I think I would have enjoyed the movie a lot more if I would have watched it on TV or something because the VHS copy I have that I watched it on is in very very poor condition that I could hardly tell what was going on and the sound was really bad on it so I'm gonna have to rewatch this movie to really know how much I enjoyed it but I did enjoy it for the most part like I said it did kind of have a slow start and everything and it has some some uh, pretty cheesy looking effects and stuff and makeup and stuff on on Swamp Thing. He, he's kind of cheesy looking, but um, <clears throat> it's a fun 80s cheese, so it don't really bother me. And this is a fun time. It, it's a one of the lesser known DC movies and everything. I don't think it was like a big hit or anything. I, I, I guess it was a big enough hit to get a sequel, though. Um, and everything. I don't know if Wes Craven directed that one, but uh, I've been wanting to see this one for a while because both of it and being a DC movie and being a Wes Craven movie. So I got to say, I, I thought it was all, all right um, and everything. I think I could probably have a better time with it if I watched it under better conditions with it being having better picture and sound. I probably would enjoy the movie more. Um, but for what it is and what, what I could tell from what I watched of it with this video copy God, I uh, enjoyed it enough and everything that I wouldn't mind re-watching it again eventually um, so I, I'd say I'd give it a, a 6.5 out of 10 um, it's good it's just not super great and everything but anyway let me know in the comments what you think of Swamp Thing and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody